Welcome to the channel. My name is Avenger1, and you have reached the welcome video. You've probably been brought here by either a friend or a recent YouTube video that's been posted, and I wanted to make this video to first of all welcome you to the YouTube channel and also give you some helps and some tips on to maybe what videos to watch first. I realize that there might be a lot of content out there, and sorting through which ones to watch first, especially if you are a new pilot, can be sometimes daunting. So this video is to first of all welcome you to the channel, and also give you some tips on to what to watch first, broken down into four core modules. If you're an experienced pilot, thank you for stopping by the stream. I hope to see you out there PvPing, and, and always thank you for all the support that everybody has shown me on Twitch and on YouTube. It's been a wild ride so far, and I hope to keep on producing content for all of us here to help us make the game we've all been wanting. So, that being said, starting off part one, which is going to focus on your aim mechanics, understanding your basic movement, and your basic velocity when it comes to your weapon systems, and also how to control your ship when it comes to controls. Okay, I use two joysticks and pedals along with Track IR5 to help me with head tracking. However, Remember that you can do all these maneuvers with mouse and keyboard. But from my point of view, I believe the game is always best experienced with a set of joysticks, whether you get high quality or mid-range. But in my opinion, maybe I'm biased, joysticks are the way. So, starting off with Module 1, we're starting off with the Understanding ESP, which is your aim assist and also basic aim system in Star Citizen. Then we go into what's known as roll aim or understanding your basic aiming once you've understand your ESP. Then we go into your power management video, which is your basic understanding of swapping power between different modules, weapons, shields, and engines. And then lastly, for module one, we have understanding weapon velocity. So now that we can hit our target, aim onto our target, and charge our weapons, we now understand what weapons are applying damage correctly and what damage and weapons maybe it should be avoided at the time being. One thing that should be said is that this video is being recorded in the midst of a 316 patch. Now, weapons most likely will get balanced as time moves on. So the current balance in 316 is most likely not the current balance we'll get even next patch. But understanding the differences with weapons and velocities is very important. So even though the stats will change, the fundamentals of rolling and aiming and weapon velocity will always stay the same. So the lessons learned in this module will continue on depending on the individual stats that get changed for different weapon systems. So once you're done with module one, we're gonna go into module two. Module two is based on pitch fighting, turn fight basics, your advanced nosing, and you're fighting inside what's called the cone. This module is to help you understand the basics of your combat movement relative to your enemy. Understanding your pitch fighting gets you a better shot on target. Understanding your turn fight basics makes you understand what a rate fight is. And understanding your advanced nose tells you how to control distance against your enemy and how to close distance into what we call the slot, or an, a position that is best to shoot your opponent. Inside the cone means an imaginary conceptual idea when it comes to understanding your relationship defensively versus an enemy target, and what you should be doing and where your eyes should be during a combat engagement. Module 3 goes into the distance control 5 versus 1, understanding your relationship with engaging multiple targets at the same time, and how to manage yourself in that situation to give yourself the best chance to A, survive, and also become victorious, even in a situation that you are outnumbered. Next, you understand the basic S-turns, which is a defensive pattern that I commonly use. And then we understand an in-depth breakdown of all these basics that we just talked about in a much more comprehensive video that's about 20 minutes long that kind of bridges everything together to help you understand it in a more clear and concise way. And lastly, for Module 3, we talk about what's called fighting throttle. Understanding your throttle management when it comes to your position and relationship to the enemy targets around you, which is very, very important, especially now with the speeds being so high. Finally, on Module 4, for your basics, we understand what's called vectoring into your turns. Understanding the relationship with the powerful vector on the bottom of your ship and creating a simulated lift profile when it comes to fighting in space. Your bottom thrusters on all ships right now are very strong, so each ship will handle differently and 
performs slightly differently, but the fundamental basic here is that almost every ship has the strongest axis on its bottom. And you will need to understand what, means, what it means to vector into your turns to not only give yourself the best shot angle, but also give yourself the best opportunity to close the distance on your target. Then we go into what's called chase theory, which is once you have engaged a target, how to effectively chase your target and also effectively disengage. Lastly, we go into understanding your momentum cancel, which is a good tool to use when it comes to using a larger vessel, so you're inside like a vanguard versus a smaller fighter. How to best bridge that gap and also how to best give yourself the, the best opportunity to limit the accelerational change between a smaller fighter that has you outmaneuvered and a larger fighter that's on the defensive. And then finally, we have angle holds, which is once you understand your rate fighting, how to keep yourself in a dominant position if you do win the turn fight to give yourself the largest amount of time you can continue damaging your target even though you have already won the turn fight to extend that advantage. These modules will give you the basic, basic, basic. The basic terminology, the basic understanding, and the basic combat prowess that you need to understand the rest of the videos here in the core skills playlist always start with the core skills playlist watch each video on your own time but please consider starting from module one two three and four each video will be linked below on the stream here and on this video to help you understand and give you a quick access to where you need to go and also what videos to watch in order my hope and my intention here with the channel is to help educate the Star Citizen community when it comes to understanding combat, understanding PvP, and understanding that you have the options available to you to not only defend yourself, but also give yourself the advantage if you decide to take an offensive stance against other players. We can argue the ethics between understanding PvP and griefing, and unfortunately this is not the place to do it. I believe that Star Citizen will always have PvP, and that is a good thing. So you have to make a choice. Would you rather be a gardener in a war or a warrior in a garden? Each of us has a choice to make. Some of us will choose not to learn PvP and that's okay. But some of us will be forced to learn and some of us will choose on our own merit. Whatever the case may be, give yourself the best opportunity with the best training and arm yourself with the knowledge that you can best give yourself the most incredible Star Citizen experience that you will ever have. When I play Star Citizen, it's unlike any game I've ever played. I've played Space Sims since I was a kid. I played Star Wars Squadrons competitively by eSports. I played Despora, BSG mods. I played every Space Sim shooter under the sun. And I can confidently say that Star Citizen is my favorite. And the feelings I get when I fly some of these ships is an incredible feeling. And if I can help educate and inspire people to try and see the game the way I do. I think all of us will benefit. So thank you for watching this video. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the channel. And I'll see you out there.